Good morning, everyone. My name is Bo Chilton. I'm the CEO of Impact Community Action. Our mission is to reduce poverty by providing hope-inspiring help and real opportunities for self-sufficiency. We want to welcome you here to Impact uh, Community Action, and we are delighted to be in partnership with the City of Columbus to make sure that we're doing all that we can to make sure that everyone has a place to call home. And so I am really excited to be in partnership with Council Member Favor. She has already proven to me that she is a champion of the people, um, trying to fight for those who are in the most vulnerable circumstances and making sure that we hold true to the ideal that we should have prosperity for all. Council Member Favors, thank you for being here. Thank you for your leadership. And I just want to welcome you to the podium and welcome to Impact Community Action. Good morning, good morning. Uh, thank you to Mr. Chilton and his entire team here at the Impact Community Action for allowing us to convene in their space today. Impact has long been a great partner to the City of Columbus, and we are grateful for all of the work you do to help reduce poverty in our community. I am proud to stand here today with Impact, the Legal Aid Society of Columbus, and fellow housing advocates in our community as we prepare to roll out the eviction prevention program. We all know that one of the greatest challenges that we face as a growing city is affordable housing. As chair of the cities of Columbus's housing committee, I have fully committed to addressing this problem from every single angle. Over the past several months, we have made many strides in our community to combat housing affordability in our community. We kicked off the regional housing study with Morpsey and other central Ohio municipalities to analyze our housing needs as a community and develop a plan for implementation. Results of the study are, should be expected by next spring. The Central Ohio Community Land Trust celebrated the completion of the first trust on the home on the city's south side. And we announced the $100 million housing action fund to make additional resources available for affordable housing projects. All of these efforts are critical to holistically addressing the problem of affordable housing in Columbus. We must ensure there is a supply of affordable homes in Columbus that residents have access to, but we must also ensure that residents are able to stay in their current homes. As rents are going up in our community, wages are staying stagnant. That means more households are becoming more unstable and having difficulty remaining in their home. Every year, Franklin County files nearly 18,000 evictions. This is the highest number of evictions filed throughout the state of Ohio. And when we, when we look closer at these numbers, we see that women, particularly African American women, are more likely to be impacted by evictions in our community. This is absolutely unacceptable. Evictions have long-term negative impacts on families. They cannot be removed from an individual's record and many times can lead to further instability, including homelessness. This is a major problem in our community and we must do everything to make sure we have established security for our families. That's why I am proud today to announce the Eviction Prevention Program. EPP is a $300,000 fund that will provide emergency financial and legal support for residents. It consists of two distinct components. Impact will provide emergency rental and mortgage assistance, while the Legal Aid Society of Columbus will provide access to Tenant Advocacy Project or the TAP Attorney Program to advocate on behalf of residents. I am thrilled to collaborate with both Impact and the Legal Aid Society of Columbus to engage in this work. I'm going to ask both organizations to elaborate on the scope of this work and what they will be able to provide each of our residents. First, I'd like to introduce Impact's Director of Emergency Services, Ms. Letitia Chasting, to detail Impact's work in this area. Ms. Letitia. Thank you, Council Member Favors. Research shows that eviction is not only a symptom of poverty, but also a root cause. Is this it disproportionately affects single parent homes, put a burden on a child's focus on education, and results in great economic burdens on both landlords and tenants. It breaks up communities, 
hurts prospects for future employment and housing, and increase the need for homelessness services. In short, eviction negatively affects our, our whole community. Impact is in the fight on poverty. Our emergency assistance department serves the most vulnerable families in Columbus. We understand that when customers come through our doors, they're in crisis, particularly with the threat of compromised housing needs through the threat of evictions or utility disruptions. We are face to face watching these stresses, the stresses of these families experiencing the lack of financial resources, often due to unplanned circumstances, like a medical emergency, a loved one passing away with any life insurance, unexpected pay, pay cuts on the job. They come to IMPACT looking for hope. With the generous support from the city, IMPACT will provide rent and mortgage assistance to families in need to prevent homelessness and support them with the goal of stabilizing their housing needs. These families will participate in life coaching to assess and address additional supports needed and will receive wraparound services to reduce or remove any barriers, which could include financial coaching, workforce development, home weatherization, and linkages to other partner referrals. Customers will be able to learn more about this program on our website at www.impactca.org. We are grateful to Council Member Favor, Mayor Ginther, and all the, all the members of Council for seeing, this, seeing the importance in addressing the eviction crisis in Columbus and standing with us and legal aid as we fight poverty to take, this, take these steps to keep our families in Columbus safe, supported, and able to fully participate in the city's growth. I would like to now um, introduce Ben Horn from Legal Aid. Thank you. Um, I'd first like to thank uh, Council Member Favor uh, for being a partner in this effort um, to keep families housed. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Senior Policy Advisor Andrew Dyer for his behind the scenes efforts and um, helping this funding happen. Um, he and I are on the Women's Commission that looks at evictions. This is uh, an effort by Mayor Ginther um, that's resulted in a lot of uh, needed changes at eviction court already. Um, I started at uh, Columbus Legal Aid five years ago, and when I looked at how many people we were helping at eviction court, um, I realized we weren't making enough of a dent, and that's basically because we were waiting for people to call us and try to get in touch with us before the, their eviction hearing. Um, what we realized is that to really help as many people as we can, we need to be at eviction court every morning. So in 2017, we set up the Tenant Advocacy Project, which is an on-site um, eviction clinic uh, where we help as many tenants as we can every morning. They show up. We haven't met them before. Um, we try to analyze their case, see if there's legal defenses. Um, we connect them uh, with other organizations like Mediation Services or PRC. Um, and our goal with all the tenants that we encounter is can we keep this family housed? Is there a solution out there where we can keep this family stabilized and housed? Um, we started modestly, uh, one full-time employee the first year, and immediately we doubled the number of tenants we were helping. Um, that has since grown uh, with the um, the generosity of organizations like the United Way and the Columbus Foundation and OSU more at School of Law. Um, and now, with help from the city, we're able to keep growing this, uh, this group of advocates that are at eviction court every morning. Um, not only has the Tenant Advocacy Project grown, uh, but also the number of organizations in the community that are devoted to helping people stay in their homes every morning has grown. Um, there's now Franklin County Job and Family Services now has um, someone there every morning to try to connect tenants with emergency financial assistance. Um, community Mediation Services has increased the number of uh, mediators that are there every morning. Um, the Veterans Services Commission has just opened up a table. All these organizations are there to meet tenants and help them stay housed. This is an investment by the city, um, not only to tap, to get more attorneys over there, um, but also uh, the impact community action funds are going to be well spent. 
This is money uh, that's needed to help, it'll help hundreds if not thousands of tenants um, every morning uh, stay out of the, the homeless shelters that are already too clogged. This is an effort that's going to help so many people. And so on behalf of Legal Aid and of Columbus Tenants, uh, thank you very much. And I'd like to reintroduce Council Member Favor. Thank you, Mr. Horn. Um, this work truly can make a difference for an individual or a family in our community. And we must do all that we can to improve the lives of residents in Columbus. We are not alone in these efforts, and I'd like to acknowledge Ms. Shelley Biting and the Columbus Women's Commission for their continued work and advocacy on evictions as well. Thank you to Impact and Legal Aid for joining us in this work, and I look forward to expanding upon our efforts in the future. This is only just the beginning for the Eviction Preventions Program. I'd also like to provide a special thank you to my staff um, and our legal um, re legislative research office uh, who did so much work to ensure that this program um, would go off uh, without a hitch. And so thank you for everyone uh, to going along with me on this ride. This is my passion. Um, if you don't know anything else about me, know that I care about ensuring that every single one of our residents has a home in Columbus, Ohio. And with that, I'd like to conclude the press conference and available for any type of questions. Thank you for your time.